50 brand new features, items, and things we know coming to GTA 6. Starting things off with the instant character switching. We do know the two main protagonists in GTA 6, which we will look at later in the video. And unlike in GTA 5 and prior titles from Rockstar, there is actually a big delay when you switch between characters. There's like a loading screen kind of B-roll footage that you see. And in GTA 6, this switch between the main characters you're going to be playing as is going to be instantaneous, which is something we've never seen before. On top of this, they are also going to be using the power of the new consoles for the PS5 and current gen Xbox, so this also will play a role in how quick character switching and all these new mechanics are actually going to be able to work in GTA 6. Another new feature is the inventory layout that's actually getting completely revamped and it's going to be entirely different from GTA 5. It'll actually have separate categories for each individual weapon wheel that you scroll through and there will be different categories for the equipment, the weapons, and also the gear, and it's going to follow a very similar layout out in style to the inventory and weapon wheel that we currently have in Red Dead 2. So if you guys have played that game, just know that the inventory in GTA 6 is going to follow that a lot closer than the one that we have currently in GTA 5 and GTA Online. And if you guys have played Red Dead 2, you would know that this inventory is a lot more functional and it's a lot easier to navigate. So I think this is a great addition to the game. And one thing Rockstar is doing with GTA 6 is they are trying to make it as realistic as possible. Obviously with the new graphics and the advances of technology, this is more doable. But with a lot of the gameplay mechanics and features in GTA 5, it's not really lifelike. So one of the changes coming to GTA 6 that some people might actually dislike because it is a lot more realistic is the fact that you're going to have a limited weapon capacity for how many weapons and guns and items you're able to carry on your character at one single time. It was confirmed in the early alpha gameplay that you were only going to be able to carry two different assault rifles and two pistols at once. But the good news for you guys is there is different equipment and things you can use to actually carry a lot more weapons weapons at once, which is why these new mechanics are actually going to work a lot better. For example, if you carry a duffel bag in GTA 6, this will allow you to carry more weapons and more equipment, which makes it a lot more realistic. We don't know the logistics of exactly how many more weapons and room the duffel bags actually give you, but it was seen in the early alpha footage, so we know for a fact that this is going to be a new feature coming. We also have special character abilities coming to GTA 6 with advanced eagle eye uncovering different and hidden things on the GTA 6 map. This is also a feature that is in Red Dead 2, so for those of you guys that have played that game, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but there will be special abilities that your character is able to use, and each ability will give you different special powers. So for instance, the one that we saw in the early alpha footage was the Enhanced Eagle Eye, which actually showed on the little map icon different secrets and little areas of the map that are usually harder to find if you don't have the special abilities. So I think this is going to be a great addition to the game and a great thing to explore right when it comes out, because there's most likely going to be a lot of different abilities that will take quite some time to get through all of them. Now, another new feature coming to GTA 6 that I am very excited for here is actually surfing, and more specifically, just the advanced water mechanics that are going to be added in the game once it's released. It was confirmed by employees over at Rockstar on a article, but they said they hired a team of 30 engineers specifically to get down the water mechanics and make it as realistic as to real life as humanly possible. So there is literally a team of 30 people that have been working working on GTA 6 over the last probably five or six years and their entire purpose is to make the water mechanics as real as possible and on top of this it was confirmed by these engineers that there will be surfing swimming and also scuba diving available in GTA 6 so it seems like the ocean and exploring underwater will be a lot more prevalent in this title as compared to GTA 5 which was cool to go out and swim and get eaten by sharks and everything but after a few times there was really no reason to go out onto the ocean so I think this will be a great addition to the game and scuba diving finding Easter eggs, looking through all the weird fish and things they're going to add. It's just going to be an awesome time. Now, we also just recently made a video on this, but it was confirmed a few days ago that Cuba is most likely going to be a part of the GTA 6 map, and it's actually going to play a pretty big role in the overall storyline and missions for GTA 6's campaign. It was confirmed that Cuba was going to be its own little island on the map, which makes a lot of sense because so far, a lot of the rumors are speculating that GTA 6 is going to be taking place in Southern Florida and more specifically in Miami. And of course, Cuba is literally right down there below the tip of Florida in the same ocean. So it makes a lot of sense if they bundled these together and gave us two separate areas to play on. It was also confirmed that with Cuba being a part of the storyline in GTA 6 map, that we are going to most likely have to deal with drug cartels and drug trafficking as a part of the GTA
GTA 6 storyline and campaign. Whether or not the entire storyline is going to be focused on this, we don't know as of yet, but it was confirmed that there will be drug cartels and stuff like that, since that's obviously a pretty prevalent issue we have here in real life. And like I said, Rockstar is definitely trying to make this game as hyper-realistic as possible to make it as fun as possible. And while we're on the topic of the campaign, the first mission that you actually play right as you spawn into GTA 6 was also leaked a little bit early, thanks to that alpha footage that gave us all of this information. But it was confirmed that the first mission when you first spawn into GTA 6 will actually be you and the other main character robbing a diner. And we actually have early images of what this looks like, some of the pop-ups and everything, but you literally go in, rob a diner, and then try to escape the cops. So it is going to be pretty similar to the start of GTA 5, where you're actually robbing a bank, and then you run away from the cops in a getaway car as well. It's going to be very similar, and I think they're doing that on purpose to kind of give a nod to GTA 5 and also have a similar start to the game. Now, a new feature that I think is amazing, and I think this is going to be one of the coolest additions to GTA 6, is the fact that we are going to have dynamic hair growth. And depending on how your hair and character actually looks, you will get different interactions and responses from different NPCs around the map. So for those of you guys that don't know what dynamic hair growth means, it means that the hair and facial hair that you get on your character is actually going to grow like in real life. So as, as you play the game longer and longer, your hair in game will actually start to grow and you'll actually either have to customize your character or probably go and get haircuts a lot more frequently than in GTA 5 where whatever you customize your character as, that's how it stayed. The hair didn't grow, nothing changed except whether your character died or not. So that's going to be a really cool addition to the game, mainly because the NPCs are going to be getting a massive update. It was confirmed that the NPCs also might be using early stages of AI to generate new replies to different players and scenes depending on what is going on around you. No more default replies that everyone gets, which I think is going to be a great addition to the game. And that's where the dynamic hair growth actually comes into play. Depending on what your character looks like, maybe your hair is extremely long, maybe you shave your head. If you go up and talk to an NPC a multiple different times with different haircuts, since there is going to be AI and machine learning involved, they will remember you from previous interactions and then give you different replies and responses, which I think will just make the game feel a lot more realistic and it'll make the game feel a lot more fun in the long run because you can get infinite amount of different replies, responses, and depending on what's happening, there will be a billion different things that NPCs can say. So it won't just be repeat voice lines that you get over and over where it gets boring. And although this is pretty common knowledge to a lot of you guys since this was leaked a while ago, we also do know the two main characters and protagonists that we are going to be switching through while we do the GTA 6 campaign. The characters are Jason and Lucia, who is actually one of the first female protagonist characters we're able to play as in the GTA series. Now, it was also rumored based off some of the leaked voice lines and also images we got from the alpha footage that there might be a love interest between these two characters as you're playing them, but obviously we don't know for sure since a lot of the campaign did not get leaked yet. We only got early screenshots and uh, some low quality gameplay of what these characters look like, but I'll throw images up on the screen. We do know exactly what both of these guys look like, and the fact that there is going to be a love interest between them will make a, a pretty interesting dynamic as you do the GTA campaign. And for the final piece of information here, I just wanted to reiterate on the fact that GTA 6 has a pretty good window of when we are going to expect it to be released, thanks to Take-Two Interactive CEO doing a bunch of news and media interviews recently, and with the leak of how they're actually spending their 90 million dollar budgeting market for Rockstar, it confirms that GTA 6 is going to be released anytime from October 2023 up until April of 2024. If it releases after that period, then obviously a lot of the speculation is wrong, but based on the dates, early information we have, and also their new marketing agency with how much money they're spending and where they're allocating it, it does confirm we are going to be getting GTA 6 here within the next year, year and a half, and it was confirmed by Take-Two Interactive CEO that it's going to be coming within the fiscal year of 2025. So at the very least, it's going to be dropping late 2024, which is very, very exciting. And I just wanted to reiterate on that fact in case you guys did not know all the new information that has been coming out. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let us know down in the comment section below of all the new features that we covered in today's video. Which one are you most excited for and looking forward to the most in GTA 6? I'd love to know your guys' feedback, and I'd love to know what is the most hype out of all the new features coming. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.